everybody, my name's Michelle and this is my channel Sewing Bunny. Thank you for joining me today. So today's video um, is a little bit of um, a uh, chat, a little bit of kind of random bits and bobs and also um, my Me Made May pledge as May is fast approaching. <laughs> so I um, don't know about you guys but um, yeah, the last couple of weeks have just been a little bit tough um, and I was feeling a bit down. Um, you know, kind of just, you know, with everything going on. And um, I just have to share with you um, something that my friend sent to me, which really made me like just cheer up and just made me so happy. And she sent me a card, which is a hug from me to you. <laughs> and polar bears um, are my favorite animal. And my friend knows how much I love polar bears. A lot of the stuff that uh, if we ever give gifts and that stuff, it's always she always knows to get me something polar bear related. <laughs> and um, it came with this, oh, it's just gorgeous. I hope this shows up here. Um, this um, pebble. Um, I'll insert a picture that I can because it's a bit too, um, it's a bit too blurry. Um, but it says on there, portable hug from me to you, wherever you go. So I've got my little portable hug for if I'm ever feeling a bit low. Um, so I really appreciate that. And uh, if you're watching, you know who you are. Thank you very, very much. <laughs> and um, I just kind of wanted to say to everyone else kind of watching, you know, kind of, it's a bit of a lonely time at the moment for a lot of people and there's a lot of things going on. So um, as my friend says, here is a hug from me to you. <laughs> <laughs> for anyone that needs it. <laughs> okay, so enough of the mushy stuff. Right, let's move on. <laughs> so um, I am wearing today um, my Tilly and the Buttons uh, Romy top. I've got the envelope here. Um, I made it last year and it's got some little pineapples on and uh, it's got the little tie at the back. Um, I'll insert a picture of the little tie because yeah, put me turning around I can't literally turn around here with the wall there um, but yes um, so yes let's get going with my me made may pledge so may I've never done a me made may before um, I probably started sewing in 2018 I would say and I only literally did like little bits and bobs so I didn't have um, a massive wardrobe full of me maids and um, now that I've got quite a nice substantial amount um, I thought I would participate um, now me made may uh, is run by um, Zoe from so so blogs I will um, insert her um, Instagram uh, handle down below uh, so you can see her, uh, her Instagram if you haven't been there and uh, so the whole point of Me Made May is just to kind of enjoy what you've made you know kind of uh, if it be it whether it's you know kind of you know having any excuse to wear a Me Made um, or whether you want to see you know maybe where there's gaps in your wardrobe which I know a lot of people do and that's probably the reason why I would really like to do it is um, I would just like to kind of see what I wear like day to day like do I pick a lot of the same things do I always gravitate to certain outfits is there things where I think oh I wish that I had this and then I can know that I can at least try and make that. So my pledge for Me Made May is going to be to wear one item um, of Me Made clothing um, every day. So be it whether um, I could wear a Me Made dress um, or whether I'd wear a top, um, but then wear ready to wear jeans or wear, you know, Me Made trousers and wear ready to wear a top. Um, so yeah, just mix and match a few bits. But as long as I wear something Me Made and I am counting pajamas in that as well. So I have quite a few Me Made pajamas. So even if I wear ready to wear maybe during the day, if I wear pajamas that evening, I'm still going to count that, I think. I mean, at the end of the day, it's, you, you, you take it however you want, you know, you don't, I'm not going to be really strict on myself, I'm just going to try and enjoy the challenge. And um, also, as I said before, I want to kind of um, see where there might be gaps, but also, are there any me maids that I don't wear anymore, and that I could maybe pass on or recycle for other things? Um, there's a few bits in my wardrobe that I know I haven't worn for a, a long time. I mean, there's a few, I think, that I've even made and I've never even worn out before. 
so I don't even know necessarily how they feel like wearing them day to day so I think I'm going to do um, a little bit of that and kind of just try and pick out things that I wouldn't normally wear I mean to be honest we're going to be indoors for a fair amount of it no one's going to see if I wear something which I don't think looks that great I'll just wear it see how I get on I might love it I might end up hating it and then getting rid of it <laughs> but yeah just see how each day goes so yes, so let me know, are you doing anything uh, for Me Made May? Are you participating or are you going to do anything in particular? Um, I'd love to know, so yeah, comment below. Okay, and then uh, yeah, just some other little bits and bobs that I've kind of been uh, been thinking about and doing. So um, I know that I've done a couple of fabric hauls and I said I wasn't going to buy any more fabric. Now I don't class this as buying fabric for garments I'm actually thinking of doing maybe a little bit of craft with fabric now I've got a lot of scraps and things and I really don't know what to do with it a lot of the time um, but I saw on Instagram the Stitch Sisters um, Nikki she um, she does quilting and I saw them post up something about doing EPP and I was like I don't even know what EPP is. For anyone that doesn't know what EPP is, sorry, uh, it's English Paper Piecing. And um, it did actually link to one of their um, older videos explaining about it. And I had a look and I thought, that doesn't look too complicated. It sounds like it could be something I could be interested in. So I thought, do you know what? Let's get some fat quarters and give it a go. Um, because... I like the idea of using my scraps for something maybe a bit separate, maybe a separate kind of quilt. I'll link her video, um, Nikki's and uh, Rachel's video down below, so you can have a look at it. Because I found it really interesting just watching, and almost quite therapeutic just watching Nikki kind of hand sew a lot of things. So uh, yeah, I'll link it down below. So yes, so I thought I will um, get some fat quarters. Um, and I've got, um, I went to a, a friend's wedding a couple of years back and um, she was so lovely. She sat me next to a lady called Georgina who runs um, a shop called The Fabric Castle. And it was just so nice having someone to chat to about sewing and she's really into quilting and uh, cross stitch and things like that. So it's really nice like chatting to her. And I remembered uh, that she had this shop and I thought I need to buy something. And she had a sale on some of her fat quarters. And um, well, yes, it's cats. <laughs> they are so cute. So uh, yes, I've got um, one of these. And also to go with that, I've also got um, some stripes. Um, I've also got some paw prints and I've got a pink and oh, I love this one. It's like a mustard kind of um, yellow with these blue cats and it all comes all lovely packaged like this and as you can see those colours just go really well with each other and I thought I'll make maybe a possible little cat quilt like as in a cat bed hopefully the cats will use it. They like using the knitted like blankets that I've made, so I thought that might be quite nice for them. And because there's a mixture of kind of blues and pinks and whites, then it means, um, well, I've got, a, I've got a female and a male cat, so it means either of them can sit on it. It's not, well, not that pinks and blues and everything should be you know, associated with boys and girls, but you get what I mean. I'm rambling, sorry. So yes, anyway, anyone who's into quilting or anything like that, check out Georgie's um, shop, The Fabric Castle. I'll link it down below and uh, yeah, have a look. Maybe um, I'll do a little video maybe on how I get on with the quilting because I've never done quilting before. So um, yeah, if you're interested in seeing any progress or anything, let me know. Okay, and then um, I've been getting on doing some sewing, bits and bobs like garment wise, and um, I thought I'd actually share with you a bit of a fail. <laughs> so I've um, wanted to make the um, Selena top from the uh, Breaking the Pattern um, book by Named. And I cut it out um, and it just got kind of put to one side because I think I might have fallen out of love with the fabric a little bit and it just wasn't coming together that well and I just kind of 
put it to one side and kind of thought, oh, I might pick it up at a later date. And then um, I saw um, Laura, the specky seamstress on YouTube. Uh, she did a video about her Selena tops, which I'll link down below because I love her YouTube channel. So if you haven't uh, seen any of her videos, check her out. And um, it got me a bit more inspired to, um, to maybe finish off mine. So, um, I mean, it didn't happen. It's, uh, it's here, this is the fabric, um, which I initially really liked. So I thought it was like really vintage kind of looking, but then I wasn't sure maybe, because I picked like red, maybe if it was a bit too much, I wasn't sure, but I'll insert a picture of kind of what it looks like on the mannequin, but basically I made it too small. And it's my own fault <laughs> because I thought I could get away with not putting a zip in and just doing a uh, hook and eye at the back with a gap, um, but it didn't work. So I tried to unpick the back to then go, do you know what, I'll whack a zip in. Um, as I was unpicking the back, the material, I mean it's not the best material, I got it from eBay. Um, it was just disintegrating. Every time I picked anything, it was just like getting the holes bigger and bigger. And I just thought, no, it's just not happening. And I ended up putting a, a few holes in it. So no, that is not happening now. So um, yeah, I might try the pattern again, but uh, I'm gonna leave that to one side um, for a bit. And the fabric, I mean, it's cut into kind of sections and things, but depending on how I get on with the quilting, Maybe I could cut this up, make that a little uh, little quilt as well. You never know, because I, I, I do like the fabric. I just don't know if it's me. Like, I'm not sure if it's a bit too floral. So, um, but yeah, it's a little quilt or something, depending on how I get on with that. But yeah. So yeah, what about you guys? Have you had any sewing fails recently? Please share so that I'm just not the only one. <laughs> when you spend like quite a while trying to, you know, make a garment and when it fails like that where, you know, I can't even really wear it. Yeah, it's just, it's not happening. <laughs> anyway, um, so yes, I hope everybody is uh, enjoying their weekend as much as they can. Uh, the sun's out at the moment, which is lovely. Me and um, uh, Stuart went out for a lovely walk this morning, probably for about a good hour and really, really nice. So anyone that, you know, kind of maybe feels a bit low or anything, go out, have a walk if you can. Uh, I think it will do you the absolute world of good just to have a bit of sun on your skin, even if it is just for a little time. So yes, hope everyone's uh, keeping well and staying safe. And yes, I will speak to you soon. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Bye.